Hello there, this is Dave Allen from Good and Geeky and we're going to give a test and we're going to do some dictation using the onboard free dictation system that comes with the Mac and we're going to compare it with Dragon Dictate. So let's switch this on first of all in dictation and to get it started I'm going to press the function key twice. This is the piece of text I'm going to dictate in there. Let's have a look and see what it's like to dictate it in. First of all with the built-in dictation and then we'll move on to Dragon and compare the two. Give it time to get good at dictation. New paragraph. I'm sure you can tell from the tone of this book I'm a huge fan of Dragon dictation. Full stop. I would, I would much rather use my voice to write than using the keyboard. Comma. Any day of the week. Full stop. I will use the keyboard when I'm doing small edits of one or two words during the editing process. Full stop. For just about everything else, I prefer dictation over typing. Full stop. I also use dictation primarily with the text edit application, although sometimes I do dictate it into others. Full stop. So that first piece there was dictated using the Mac dictation available with Siri, doing the transcription of the speech into text. Let's have a look and use the Dragon dictation and compare the two. Header 2. Give it time to get good at dictation. Capitalize give, go to end, new paragraph. I'm sure you can tell from the tone of this book, I'm a huge fan of using Dragon dictation, full stop. I would much rather use my voice to write than using the keyboard, comma, any day of the week, full stop. I will use the keyboard when I'm doing small edits of one or two words during the editing process, full stop. For just about everything else, I prefer dictation over typing, full stop. I use dictation primarily with the text edit application, although sometimes I do dictate into others, full stop. I often find it gets me into the swing of things and into the frame of mind for writing when I start off my day by creating a journal entry into the application day one, full stop. Capitalize day one, go to end. It sort of gets me into the creative zone or the writing zone just by putting the words onto those pages, full stop. New paragraph. I like the idea of creating an outline for writing so I don't have to write by the seat of my pants full stop. Often it seems I prefer to do my creative writing by unloading any thoughts and ideas onto the page using dictation full stop. I could be writing down the basics of an idea for a story while including questions which need to be answered. Semicolon. It's a brainstorming type of working full stop. This gives me enough to get into a more proactive planning phase so I can start to see the story as I move it inside my head. Full stop. It's easier to write a scene as I see playing out in the gorgeous technicolor of my mind. Full stop. As you can see there's a big difference between the first bit of dictation using Siri dictation on the Mac compared to using Dragon Dictate. And I think we can conclude from this that it is well worth spending the money and getting the professional quality dictation if you do a lot of writing. I've put the three texts into Scrivener and we can compare them. This comparison is where we've got the original compared to the Siri dictation. As you can see there's a lot of things there that are incorrect in there so it hasn't done a great job of dictation. Now let's compare the original with the Dragon dictation and as you can see there's not too many changes. Dragon did a very good job. The differences were mainly down to capitalization of words and other differences might have been down where I said the wrong word when I was reading it out. It's very clear to see that Dragon Dictate does a much better job of dictation than does Siri Dictation on your Mac.